Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then developed gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Know what? Think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like to just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental, my fangs have begun to hurt. Then what? Will you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh. Our encounter with Vilgefort. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair. Far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz. Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.